Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs and I'm here with just a little video on kind of a little craft with me, just an idea I had. Um, nothing probably new, just kind of uh, something that kind of came to me um, probably last night. I was looking through this paper pad because I was using it for my um, for my little uh, journal that I was doing and my little paper bag journal and I just was like it's so pretty I, I just wish that you know that I could like use a lot of these papers in my journal my next journal and you know because they're just so I'm, I guess it's just kind of my style and I just love it and you know and I have some other papers that I just absolutely love you know how you get a paper pad or something or or some paper and you're just like wow that's just amazing right but the truth is is when you are doing um, uh, junk journaling what you'll find out really quick is that you cannot use a lot of the heavyweight papers um, in your junk journals because um, it just bulks up your junk journal so much that you just I mean you just can't do it now I will use them as a cover of my signature um, but if I have a two or three signature journal then that's only three pages of the whole you know all the 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 journal that I can really you know which I mean it's cut in half but you know four pages or whatever okay so that's two four six um, you know 12 so 24 pages technically if you count front and back but you're you're really only using three pieces of scrapbook paper okay and I know that we all have um, scrapbook paper that we love that we have not been able to really utilize you can you go and you you're going to make a journal and you'll pull out some papers and you're only using maybe three maybe six pages at the most in most journals because they just can't handle that weight and especially this paper is not super heavy but it's not it's not you know it's not a lightweight paper it doesn't say what it is but it's a pretty heavyweight paper and the thing is is you know like I said I can put you know some of this in a journal as a cover or I can take it and put it you know make tags out of it or whatever but if you really love the paper and it's beautiful and you want to use it um, I was trying to think well what's a way that we can incorporate that and maybe use more of those papers okay at the same time I was thinking about the video I did um, last week and I had done that video on ugly paper okay now some of you may look at this I, th I thought about it, that 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 was so funny because I just remember um, some of the comments on the ugly paper and everyone was like apparently everyone has a ton of ugly scrapbook paper but then you know I've seen other people on YouTube and they'll be talking about ugly paper and they'll pull out a paper and I'm thinking that doesn't look that bad to me you know but so you know I mean my ugly paper may not be considered ugly to you uh, I have no idea when I bought this paper I really didn't so anyway um, I thought well I want to go ahead and use my pretty paper and at the same time I want to get rid of more of my ugly paper just I want to use more in general okay I don't have more than that one big box well that's not true because I have a lot of solid color paper that I'll never use okay um, 
back when you did scrapbooking and you bought all these different papers but I do have quite a bit but I know I don't have but now see I gotta take that back I do have a lot of scrapbooking kits okay a lot a lot okay and I and I wouldn't say the papers are necessarily ugly but it's just not something I'm doing um, I used to do mini albums and scrapbooking and all that and I don't do really do it anymore I don't have time and I don't really want to I don't think my heart's in it anymore and I've just gotten to where I kind of digitize uh, my pictures um, so I just I'm not into it so I got I just either I get rid of the paper and that was my thing when I said something about the ugly paper if you don't have any I'm sure somebody will give you some because anybody that has any amount of scrapbooking stuff they've got some ugly paper that they don't mind getting rid of I promise you anyway don't go out and buy ugly paper okay because the world has too much of it out there so we just need to share um, but getting back to that is that I wanted to get rid of this and I wanted to utilize the um, pretty paper and I just wanted to use more of it okay so that's what brought me to what I'm I'm doing today and you know I thought maybe I'll just bring you guys along if you want to do it uh, none of it is probably new it's not rocket science you guys will figure out how to do it but it's also another way to do a journal where you're not sewing which um, like I, I did my tutorials I promised I'd do them um, and you know what I don't know it's not that hard and you do need to get your feet wet and I'm not trying to get to where y'all can uh, avoid it I do want you to get your book and get it and watch my tutorial there's tons of them out there as many times as you need to but just bite the bullet and do it okay but if you're wanting to do a journal without having to sew in the uh, the uh, signatures, oh, excuse me, guys. Oh, I don't know why I'm yawning. I'm not why. I had lots of sleep and it's not even that late. Um, I guess I'm just boring myself. My brother told me he tried to watch my um, uh, YouTube video and it, he it, both times he fell asleep and I go why well, you know I fall asleep watching it too so anyway <laughs> but so anyway guys I just came up with this and I'm doing it and I I wasn't going to turn on the camera but I thought I might as well see if you guys are interested and see if it's something that you might want to do anyway so what you're going to need is some ugly paper I went and tried to find um, some pretty thick paper um, for my ugly paper because um, you're going to need this uh, weight a, a heavier weight paper I also picked out let me see here I took um, let's see what which which one is it I took the uh, the uh, uh, these pages from this uh, what is it wildflower and I, I did this and I did it six by six simply because I thought that that would be a good um, size for this and also these came in the six by six um, I know not all paper pads are going to have that so but um, you can always cut the pieces you know if, if it's a pattern that you can cut that you like see these would have worked too I mean I could have easily cut those or I could have done them a different size but I was trying to do it in a way that wouldn't waste paper but you know even after I do this I love these so much I think I'll you know I'm still gonna have to kind of figure out something because what happens is by just using two or three pages at a time you've got you really probably have a ton of paper out there that you really like and that I mean, I get paper all the time that I'm like, I love, you know, just different brands and the, some of their collections and stuff like that. And, you know, I get them and then I'm like, use two pieces or maybe three. And then I've got all the other ones sitting there. So it's going to take a long time and a lot of journals to go through that. So anyway, you need something that you would want to use that's going to show in the journal. This isn't going to show. And then I picked um, 
kind of several neutral type. Um, I have a lot of these mixed media. Um, see this, when I buy scrap big paper now, for the most part, this is what I buy. If I buy any at all. Um, or I have to just love it. I have to just, I mean, I had to love it. And, you know, that's just how it is. Because I don't buy very much anymore. And I, um, you know, the digitals, you can download so much that go directly in. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to yawn again. I, I apologize. I didn't really think I was tired when I started this video. Maybe I just need to just go to bed and say bye. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh gosh. Let me just take a drink of water over here and see what's going on. You know what it is? I had a glass of wine or two um, with dinner tonight. Going back, I hope you guys are all doing great. I mean, I am, have so chilled out over all this stuff, you know. Um, you know, my son, I don't know if some of you know, but my um, oldest son works in a lab and they test COVID and they have live samples. And when I first heard that, I was just like, oh my God. I am mean, just, and he's, you know, he's 30 and, and in pretty good shape. Not great shape though. Not really. He's got bronchitis and he's had asthma and, you know, and he gets sick a lot and he gets really bad upper respiratory. So I was a little freaked out. And then I'm at risk. My husband's at risk. And then my youngest son, um, who'd moved to Colorado last year, um, was furloughed from his job. Um, and so I'm like, there's just, it was, I was just very stressed out, very stressed out. And of course, watching the news in the beginning and all this, oh my God, I was just, I was a mess. So anyway, I think probably somewhere along the line, I gained my footing and equilibrium and calmed myself down. And I'll tell you, I did not go in my craft room for a while. I, I was just kind of, I was just out of it. I was totally out of it. Didn't do anything really. And I forced myself to come in here and start doing things and it has helped me so much so so much and I know better than not to go and and do something creative as an outlet I know better than that I did that whole before this COVID thing I have a video out there in crafting therapy when people were talking about how they feel guilty when they spend time crafting or when they spend money on it da 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 and I'm like hey you know what I'm not against therapy I think it's great but it is cheaper than therapy and sometimes if you do it you don't need it and had I kept going down the direct you know the direction of bad case scenario all the way across the board I would have really been in bad shape because I was just not doing well. Anyway, getting back to all of this, I don't even know how I went in that tangent. I really don't. Um, okay, so we're going to use um, an ugly paper, a beautiful paper, and um, s some sort of neutral paper. Just neutral of some sort. I picked a lot of you know, um, different ones. I have a lot of mixed media um, type stuff. Just something that doesn't really have a pattern or anything like that, okay? So anyway, what I did is I cut everything into six by six squares, okay? And I just took them. And here's like some of my... Oh, and you know what other thing I was going to tell you guys? I was looking for some papers and a lot of them had like too much pink and too much, you know, even the mixed media ones or the colors were too bright or they just weren't right. <clears throat> and I started looking through some of my other paper, paper pads and honestly, you should look through things that you don't even think that you might find things because I looked into Maggie Holmes one and I found like this one. I've looked in some other ones that just... I mean, on the surface, you wouldn't think that they would have the kind of paper you'd want in there, but they had one or two, three pieces in there that really worked. So, um, you know, just, just kind of look. And um, also, too, I just kind of 
made me see some of the things I do have that I really I'm going to do the same technique to and mainly just because it allows you to use um, some of your scrapbook paper that you you're not you're just not going to use it all you're just not going to use it um, there I kind of was gonna I almost ordered another pad of that um, Tim Holtz uh, wildflower because I loved it. I mean, I just loved it so much. But I thought, I'm, I'm not even going to use this. I'm probably not even going to use this. So that's what brought me to this. It's like, okay, I'm going to use it. And if I use it all up, I'll get another one. But I'm going to start using the stuff I love and, and the stuff I hate. And the stuff I'm in, you know. So anyway, guys. All right. So, and if you don't have anything neutral like this, we you can make neutral the ugly paper, and we'll do more of that um, in the future. But I think uh, Artie Mays had a really good, um, really good tutorial on where she painted the paper or gessoed the paper, and you know you could take this and just gesso it, and then do mixed media on it, and then use that as part of this. Um, I just was not going to do all that for this because I guess I just, you know, had these and I was kind of being lazy because I had just done all that other stuff not too long ago using ugly paper. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I cut all these up, got all these little squares and I figured, gosh, you know, this seemed like the perfect size. Plus you're really utilizing your, um, your scrapbook paper to the you know at the best there's not any waste really is what so anyway there's a lot of ugly paper in here that's for sure I'm going to divide all these up so I know what I'm doing these are my plain papers that I picked and I had several sheets I just cut in four okay and I wanted them to kind of go with um, the papers I was using you know not necessarily match but just kind of go with the whole uh, concept that I was doing. Um, here's a couple of my patterned ones. And here's another one of those. Seems like I got a lot of ugly ones, don't I? Okay. Let me put all the ugly ones in one spot. And there we go. Alright. So basically, all I did at that point, I've got my 6x6 six six paper. And you know, this is a great way to use 6x6 six six paper pads too. That's another reason why I thought um, this would be good. Because I have a lot of those. And I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Okay? So, alright. So anyway, I took that. And then I would kind of go through here and go, okay, what's kind of sort of goes. They all kind of really go, don't they? So what if I just took... I don't know. Hmm, maybe we'll do. I'll just do this one. I'm going to do that. And then I take my ugly one. Okay. And I'm just going to sandwich this in between. That's all I'm doing. Okay. So that's on the back. This is on the front. And the reason I'm doing that is that we are going to be making this with um, um, rings. Okay. And so it's not going to be sewn in a journal. It's going to be a two-hole punch and done with rings. And I've kind of, um, these are the ones, uh, when if I have a video out there on rusting your metal. Well, the thing is, I learned a lesson. I had some other ones that I did that too. And boy, they rusted great. Problem was, is they wouldn't open after, okay? And they were too rusty, so the hinges the hinges wouldn't work. So this time I only left them in there for a short period of time, and so that kind of discolored them a little bit. I just don't like them all shiny and pretty when I'm trying to make things look kind of grungy. It just I don't know. Anyway, so take your papers like that. I had how many did I have? I don't know. I have to guess. I have to look one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had a total of um, ten, ten of these um, pattern papers, and I think it was like eight of. And there's no magic formula. 
eight of the uh, other papers that I'm going to show you that we're going to use that are, they have no pattern on them. So anyway, I have this little punch thing. And boy, when I bought this, and it didn't cost much at all. I got this at uh, Tuesday morning, you know, how they have all their punches. That's why if you, you see me in all my different punches, it's just, I get them all the time there whenever they're, they're cheap. Because I won't pay full price for these. But anyway, when I got it, I brought it home, and I thought, I'm never going to use that. Why did I buy that? Okay. Well, guess what? I use this thing all the time. It comes with these little... Um, these little thingamajiggies, punchy things, and you can put up to five, but you can buy extra little inserts in here. But I use it for a hole punch, like a three hole punch or a two hole punch, and you can slide these anywhere you want and put the holes anywhere you want. So anyway, I'm just saying, guys, I I don't know. I, I think it was like maybe six bucks or something. And it, to me it was a good investment but you can certainly use a hand punch you do not have to have this just if you do use the regular punch you want to punch your um i'll just show you you want to punch them okay so let's say you punch your holes and then you just want to make sure that you trace where you're going to do or put an x or something for the next one so you have a pattern to do it because obviously you don't have it set up to where it's going to punch in the same place okay this thing didn't it will punch three but it didn't seem to like it that much so i just would take one this is the back's going to be there and the front's going to be there make sure you have them facing how they're going to be and this little thing has like a little kind of ridge thing here i see these all the time at tuesday morning so you can go, if you're in a situation where you can get there and you have a Tuesday morning, I realize a lot of people here are not listening that are not from the States, but they have them all the time. And I don't know if they still sell these, but I do know they have, you know, two hole punches. Okay, why did you come out? What did I do? Okay, just didn't like what I did that time. Then I'm going to take my middle one. Like I said, guys, this is not super rocket science. And I, I just kind of did an assembly line like that. Here's my next one. And I kind you know, you got to kind of make sure you don't have them upside down. Because, I don't know. You, well, I, you know I already did that, right? You know I did. So, let's see. I just want to put something different. I don't know. I have, have I done one of these? I'm going to do this one, I think. Okay, so, um, well, maybe not. Okay. I'm trying to decide. Okay, I'll do that one. All right. Um, like I said, I just, oh, may, don't go like this because if you do it like this, which I did, um, the problem is, is when you turn it over, your holes are on this side. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm just saying, heads up. Just put them in the punch the way that you're going to want them when they come out. I don't know. I'm sure you guys are probably dumb enough to do that. But I am. I do that kind of stuff all the time. Especially after I've had a couple glasses of wine at dinner, huh? Okay, so there we go. That one's in there. Get me an ugly one. And like I said, on my ugly one, the only criteria that I had was that it was reasonably thick. Because the thicker, the better. Okay? Um, because when you're using a, a binding system, like the ring binding, you really need... Um, a lot of people use chipboard. Um, you know, I don't feel like you have to have that. But you do need it pretty thick. Or, you know, it's not going to... It's The papers are going to tear. So then I wanted some more, um, just some, uh, I don't know, just some not, you know, patterned paper. So let me put these together. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to kind of group those and do a few of those. Oh, here we go again. Well, that wouldn't have mattered on that, but on the other one it would have. But anyway, um, so just do that. And this little paper punch is 
like I said, I when I got it, I thought I'm never going to use that. Why did I buy it? Boy, I use it more than way more than I thought I would. Okay, take those two. So I hope everyone is getting a little crafting time in. I know when I was kind of in my little. Okay, did it move? Yeah, it gets kind of weird sometimes and it moves around, but for the most part it stays in its little slot. It's got these little ridges that keeps it in there. But I may have to clean out the little punch. I'm just hoping it lasts long enough so I can get done. Um, oh, please, don't poop out on me now. Um, I know when I was not crafting it did help me just to watch videos and that's kind of what got me motivated because I just saw some things and I went wow I want to try that you know um, this one's a little crooked which I don't doubt it's not the end of the world guys if it's a little crooked because a you can trim it off a little bit but B we're gonna ink around them and you won't see it you really won't oh that has words I mean, you can barely see it, but um, so you know, if it's if it's just um, a little off. Now, if it's a lot, well, you probably won't be able to use it. But if it's just a little, don't worry about it. But anyway, watching stuff really did help me and um, get me kind of back in back in my craft room. Okay, so that's all we're going to do with that. Let me put that over there. We're not using it. So I'm going to just take, you guessed it, my glue stick. My handy dandy Scotch permanent glue stick that I just love. Let me get my little glue book. Um, anyway, guys, I just, let's see, make sure I have it. All right, okay. And I put glue all over. Now I am going to sew around these, but I'm not going to do it during this video. Just because I want you guys to see how cool it looks without it being sewn. Because there are some people that don't have a sewing machine or don't sew. And I don't want them to think, like I'm getting glue all over me. I don't want them to think that they can't um, do uh, junk journals. Okay, the way that I line these up, and I learned this from years ago mini albums just get the one corner first and get it lined up and then just get get it all lined up at the bottom so it's all straight get your holes lined up okay and then go and it should it should go fine across and see this is off a tiny tiny bit on top but that's okay we're going to ink it up. We can trim it. It's not going to be a lot. If it's a, if it's way off, well, then you got problems. But you get that. And so we're just going to glue these up. Yuck. I think my book has had... I need to do something with that. So anyway, I will say that watching videos did help me. And it was just... I was just like, I was paralyzed with fear, and not really for myself, um, for my husband, for my son. I just was so paralyzed with fear, and it helped. And I'm telling you, all of y'all's kind comments, and oh my gosh, I just, even though I can't see you, and I can't talk to you, and I just feel this community is so positive and so um you know women just really helping women and i it just blows my mind how amazing this um community is it just it really is and i am involved with a lot of uh women's uh activities and clubs and and most of them are, i'm getting don't get me wrong they're great but boy i'll tell you you guys are you're just super super people and you know I'm I just it just helped it helped a lot and I hope all of you are 
you know, doing okay and coping and making the best of it. And I have, I was talking to some of my friends today or texting really. And, um, we were just, we kind of check in on, see how we're all doing. And <laughs> they were all talking about how they've cleaned out this and that. And I'm like, I haven't cleaned anything, but I have done a lot of crafting. <laughs> so anyway, I have different priorities, I guess. Oh, my house is such a mess. Oh my God. I haven't cleaned a thing. Um, I did go and put some clothes in my closet today and I was going in there and I'm doing this journal and um, I had you know quit working two years ago and I worked at a bank and I was a bank manager and I mean I had to dress up every day and look nice and I like to I mean I'll have to say uh, when I was going to go back to work I wouldn't even apply at a place that wore uniforms I was like no I don't do that <laughs> I don't do that I don't like going out buying clothes and dressing up every day. That's part of the part of the fun for me. Anyway, um, so I have all these clothes, and I got rid of a bunch, a bunch, not too long ago, and I gave them to a friend, and I donated a whole bunch. But I still have, like, a lot of favorites in there that I just couldn't bring myself to get rid of. And I said, that's okay, you know. Um you know you don't you don't have to you can you know you can um do that later whatever well anyway i was looking for some i was looking in there to put some stuff away and i found like two blouses in there that had this material that i can cut up and use in this journal and i was so excited <laughs> so that's about the only organizing i've done is probably taken stuff out of my closet so I could scrapbook with it where'd the holes go okay all right I got them wrong here we go they were blending into the um this new here okay oh I forgot to turn my light on over there I'll do that I'll do that part of the reason I use this um unless it's super really messy mixed media is that I can use my other light over here there we go and it's, there's not any glare. If I use that light when I'm um, using my glass mat, it gets too much glare. So, but it works on this. Okay. Let me do this. Uh, anyway. So, I haven't done all of the organizing and all that kind of stuff that everybody else has been doing. Because I've been crafting been making videos in between making videos which actually do take quite a bit of time I do work on my other journals which hopefully um, in the next week or two I'm gonna have a bunch of journals done Yahoo! and I may put some in my Etsy shop but I think most of them I'm going to use for um, giveaways so what are we doing here and I, like I said, I am going to sew around this, and you don't have to, but if you are not going to sew around there, make sure that you get your ends down really good. Um, you may want to use <clears throat> another glue, like art glitter glue. Now my voice is going away. I have all kinds of problems tonight. Excuse me. So, um, just make sure you get the ends down good. I am going to go all the way around it and sew. And um, the reason I went ahead and punched the holes is because the last time I was punching holes in where I sewed. So I'm going to try and get right over here and get around there. So I will be doing that. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay, so is that all of them? Did we do all of them? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I not? Okay, don't do that. Oh no. Okay, good. I got to get another page. I always forget to do that. Okay, so I need more book pages like you wouldn't believe. That's another thing. Anybody that's junk journaling for a while, okay, so don't um, don't don't worry about having book page. I heard somebody say that. I'm like, oh my god, you're gonna end up with so much book page. Okay, so I guess I did not do. 
uh oh, uh oh. Do I not have another back to put that on now? <gasps> uh oh, oh do I do, I do, I do. Okay. I didn't do these two. We have to do these two. These are important. <laughs> Those aren't that important. Just jibber jabbering away. Okay, guys. I really, I just need y'all's help. I just wish that somehow that you could just communicate with me. I really do. I, I, I see people do the live all the time, and I, I need to try it. My sister, um, she just started a channel. She paints, and oh my gosh, she's so talented. Um, but she'll do live stuff and I'm like oh man you're brave I don't know I don't I don't know if I could do that although I have to say even when I screw up I don't really I used to just do it over and do it over just oh I can't use that and I, I finally just got well you know what I can't be doing this every moment of my life so y'all are just gonna have to take me as I am because I can't just, I can't, I, I just can't do it, you know, perfect, because I'm not perfect, okay? I'm not. Okay, so wait a minute. All right, there we go. Whew! That looks scary, okay? But I'm just saying, you know, that the live thing to me I don't know. I guess if I did it a few times. I remember the first time I did my first video. I, when I watch it, it's like every other word was um, 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 um. And then when I hadn't done a video for a while, when I went dark, when I was kind of, and that's when I was kind of like freaked out for, I, honestly, I bet it was, it had to be at least two weeks. Um, here I did. I just said, um, I, every other word was, um, 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 and I do that now, too, because, you know, you don't know what you're going to say. I don't, it's not scripted. I'm not sitting here with a script, or I probably should. I probably should have, like, a something, <laughs> some kind of organization. I am not really, if you guys know how little I organize now. I used to be super organized. I'd have everything out. I had everything all written out. And honestly, guys, I just gave up on that because the prep time was just taking so much that I just was like, I can't, I just can't do this because, oh gosh, don't tell me I'm going to run out of glue stick right now. Oh, good. I have one over here. I go through, I, I could buy, I bought the 18 pack and I should have bought the 24 pack. I was I was being silly. You silly person. Oh, have you guys? Oh, this is like a crisis. I'm telling you. I know there's going to be a meat shortage. Okay, all right. My husband's freaking out. But there is a glue shortage, people. Something is going on with fabric tack and um whatever that glue is I use. What's it called? I always call it the wrong thing. 3 in 1 glue. Holy guacamole. What? Y'all message me. What's going on? And if you don't know, get, you better go get your 3-in-1 or your fabric tack now. Because something's going on. You can't get it. And if you do, it costs a pretty penny. Let me tell you. Whoo! I saw something on Facebook. I don't remember what group it was. And I thought, what are they talking about? I just got some. I didn't have any problem. And then I went out on uh, Amazon, and they're like limiting how much you can get. So I ordered as much as I could get, but I thought, oh my gosh, there's going to be a shortage of, of uh, fabric tack and 3-in-1 glue. <laughs> I mean, forget toilet paper. Holy gosh, I couldn't believe it. So I don't... So I'm, I'm talking to my husband about it, and I go, why in the world would there be a shortage, you know? And he said, what's probably happening is all the people that have been locked up that have not been ordering things online or whatever went to their craft store when they opened up, 
and just bought everything they had. You know, they were out of the glue. <laughs> they were, they were just, you know, or something. Anyway, or, or maybe this is hit overseas, guys, and it's just hitting us now. I don't know. But, oh my gosh. So, I don't know. That is, this is going to be precious. I'm going to only use it when I absolutely have to. Y'all are going to see me use another glue a lot more than what I used to. Because, and then the next chance, you know, when they don't push me, when they ration it. They're rationing it. They're rationing the, the uh, fabric tack and the, and the price went up a lot. So, if y'all don't know, you better hurry up and go get you some. Because, whew. Oh my gosh, it was, that was a shocker. Did not see that coming, did you? I mean, I, I, the meat shortage, and then they got the toilet paper, and the, holy, and then who was it? One person was saying that they were trying to buy a sewing machine, and they couldn't find a sewing machine anywhere. I'm thinking, well, why would sewing machines, why would sewing machines be hard I guess are people can't go to the store they're buy, they're sewing clothes or I don't I don't know is everybody all of a sudden you know doing uh, junk journaling wouldn't that be great if everybody started doing junk journaling that'd be so great so great anyway maybe that's it maybe I'm so popular that I've just made it so <laughs> my husband said that I go, I don't think so. Trust me, there are a lot more people. I'm reaching a, a few people, a few more than the 14 or 15 I used to a day, thanks to Dawn, but I'm telling you, uh, no. So I don't know why there's a shortage on sewing machines. I, that was, Somebody needs to figure that out. I do know that we um, got our RV. We decided, okay, I don't know if I told you the story about the bike thing. Did I tell you guys the story about the bike thing? Well, I should tell you again. Because I can't remember if I told you. Because it was hilarious. But anyway, there was we were looking for bikes. Because I thought, well, that way, you know, when we're at the little RV park, we can ride around, you know, in the bike. And da-da-da-da-da. Okay, so anyway. Well, there were no adult bikes to be found anywhere. Okay, we went to store after store. And, you know, I'm talking under $500, okay? Um, we're going from place to place. Cannot find a bike. Okay, that is sticking out too much. It's going to drive me nuts. Now, see if there's a part that's just too much that's out. And this stuff, the reason the problem is, is that it's kind of foily and glittery. So that's just not going to cut it. So there we go. But the rest of it, you're not going to see if it's not perfect because we're inking, okay? We're inking, people. We're inking all around your pages. Okay. But anyway, so we went from store to store. So apparently, I guess, um, all the parents that were home with their kids decided, hey, let's get a bike and go run around or something. I guess. I don't know. But we eventually, I found one. Um... It's really cute. At first I saw a pink one. Oh my god, I wanted I ran home. Not ran. I drove home. It was at Walmart and I I um came home and I told my husband, he said, Okay, we'll get it in the morning. I said, No, it's gonna it's not gonna be there because there's like it's the, it was the only adult bike in the store. Not just only adult women's, but the only adult bike in the whole store. And um, he said, okay, I'll go early in the morning. Sure enough, he went, and it was gone. So, um, I guess I don't want to cut that. It's a little short. I'm just going to ink it up. Ooh, that's way too much ink, but that's okay. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Um, so, it wasn't there, and it was so cute. <laughs> Because I wanted one of those old-fashioned, big seat, comfortable, you know, with the little basket and all that kind of stuff. And that's what it was. And it was pink. Not bright pink, just kind of a light pink. And oh my gosh, I just wanted it so bad. But, guess what they did have? They had a turquoise one. And it has, get this, get this. It's got a basket in front. And then it's got one of those metal things in the back that you can put stuff on and then not next to the basket in front it's got a little thing 
for you to put your cell phone and and a cup holder a cup a drink holder thing so uh, it was actually and it's turquoise oh so i'm in love with this bike so i should probably tell you the bike story oh my god i'm i probably already told you guys this y'all let me know if i already told you this but anyway we were um <laughs> We were took the RV out for a weekend, just to camp for a weekend. We first got it, and um, we had the bikes. And I, it had been at least 20 years since I'd been on a bike. And my husband goes, "Let's just go take the bike for a spin." And go, I don't, I don't know, you know. And there were people there, which kind of surprised me. It wasn't crowded, but there were more people than I imagined. And of course, you know, everybody's social distancing, and they're not around each other but still I knew that they could see me and I wasn't real thrilled about that so anyway I got on the bike and all I'm doing is riding around in a circle and all of a sudden I'm going down this hill and it didn't seem like it was a big hill or a steep incline but it kind of was and I'm going fast and I decided I probably need to put my brakes on but as I put my brakes on uh, my my bike got kind of out of control and starts going toward this curb and I remember it felt like it was in slow motion I remember thinking I need to hit the brakes and hop off if it doesn't stop or whatever and all of that was going through my head and I knew what I had to do I used to be quite a bike rider but it was so funny because my body was moving in slow motion it would not respond as quickly as it needed to that's all I can say and it was hilarious it was like a slow motion wreck and my husband was behind me and at first he is very concerned and then he saw me cracking up laughing and we are laughing so hard because I hit the curb went flying off the bike went into the grass and I'm laying there and at first it, you know he wasn't sure what was going on but I am laughing because it was so funny because my mind was telling me hit the brake step on the ground jump off the bike do the all these things and nothing would work like it was supposed to work <laughs> It's like I knew what I needed to do but it wasn't happening it was so funny Anyway, that's what happens when an old fat lady gets on a bike that hadn't been on a bike in 20 years. So, but that just told me. So now, then he, we got back. He goes, we should go around the block. I go, oh yeah, so my neighbors can see me fall off the bike. At least these were people I know I was never going to see again. Okay, so let's get back to the journal, guys. So anyway, now that we've got all our pages, I just went in and kind of decided where I would want them and just kind of mixed different pages in there you know just to kind of maybe give it a little i don't want two mixed medias there put one there how about this here maybe that there put that there maybe put oh i don't know which one maybe put that one there put maybe this one there Maybe that there, maybe this there. I don't know, guys. I have no plan. I'm just mixing it up. That's all I'm doing. Uh-oh, do we have another mixed media one? Okay, that can go in there. There we go. Is that good? Oh, perfect. I knew I had counted it originally. It's not a surprise, really. Okay, so anyway, these are what I'm putting in there. And like some of them are coming off. Like I told you, I am going to glue these. So I wasn't overly generous with the glue. I just wanted to stay down long enough so I can glue it. And I kind of want you guys to see it. But anyway. So this is going to actually be the pages of our journal. How about that? Okay. And, um, you know, see, look. It's just going to be. I'll put them on the ring. Then you can really see. How about that? It's really easy. Um, you can get these rings at any office supply. They're not expensive. But of course me, you know, I, I just hate buying things 
that cost four or five times as much because you're only buying 10. So I always buy like, you know, the mother load and I just have too much. I have a bunch, so I have a bunch of paper. So I am going to start using this stuff. So I am going to be, and this takes no time. I mean, cutting the paper doesn't take that much time and the gluing doesn't and you could do this while you're watching TV it's not like anything real you know um, you know super hard to do or something you have to concentrate on so I do that one how is that crooked did I do it it's crooked huh <gasps> I must have done some of them crooked or did I what did I do there's two of them in there that are crooked. That is so weird. Oh, they're, oh, they're the upside down. That's what it was. The holes are off a little bit. That is what it is. Yo, okay. Well, that was weird. Yeah, my holes, I didn't put them in the exact same spot on each side. I didn't pay attention to what I was doing. So, oh well, now they're okay. All right, there we go. What I mean is on this thing, like the, let's see, the top is, is closer to the top than the bottom. And that's because I thought they had, listen, I thought they had to be on these little lines. No, those lines have absolutely nothing to do with it. You can put move them anywhere you want. Yeah, okay. Well, I'd already punched like half, half of the uh, decorative papers um, when I figured that out. So I thought, oh, well, too late now. Anyway, this works. There's not a lot of difference. It's not noticeable, but I'm just saying. Okay, so that went there, and then this went last. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, did I do another one upside down? Please, people. Okay, let's just do it the easy way instead of undoing all of them. Okay, there we go. And then, okay. So, I did get back on my bike, but I waited till it was like really late at night and dark, and I didn't see anyone out. <laughs> so now I need a light on my bike because that was kind of dangerous for me. But anyway, we don't have a very busy block or street. Okay, so that is it, but we still need to make a cover. Okay, so um, let me see time-wise where we're at and that way I don't um oh we have time for that okay I don't know how I'm going to decorate the cover yet but um I this if you see this is pretty this is pretty heavy duty and you really kind of have to do that when you're doing these rings um and like I said you know you know if you have like cereal box or something like that, you can use that, but it's not necessary when you have three layers of cardstock like this. Just make sure um, that you at least one of them is fairly thick. And I just kind of made sure that my um, my middle one was pretty thick out of my ugly papers. And you know, back when we used to start doing that, a lot of the papers were really thick, and so. Hopefully you can find some in your stash that's ugly that you can put in the middle. That way you can use just stuff that you really, you know, want to use on the outside. But usually those papers are thicker than normal, you know, just regular papers. So the three of them together are going to be, you know, they're going to be a decent, um, decent amount of weight. So... And so this can hold um, pockets and tags and whatever. If you want to, at this point, um, you sew around it. You can sew pockets. Um, you can sew um, other types of things on there because it will hold it. It can hold all that, okay? And I'm not sure. I may do some of that. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I haven't made up my mind because, like I said, I just kind of came to me last night and I was like okay man that might be cool because I mean if you look at some of the stuff that comes with this 
you could easily make pockets and you know but I may just take some and glue them on I don't know but cover let's get that I, if I didn't blab so much these videos would be 20 minutes okay all right, so I am going to use chipboard for the cover, front and back cover, and this is medium weight chipboard. I don't know exactly what the weight is. It's just, it's probably the back of a, like a paper pad weight, okay? It's not super thick. It's, it's, it's not lightweight, but it's not super thick. It's not, um cereal box is thicker than that if you have like a cereal box or something you want to use that'll be fine but I would double it I would double that weight so this, that's about what this is so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna cut it and I think I'm what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna cut it a little bit bigger than my um, than my little these things those were six by six so I think I'm going to go, I don't want to go too big, but I think I'm going to go six and a quarter. And this is my heavy duty. I love this tr trimmer and it's a Martha Stewart. They don't have it anymore, but I love it for this thing right here because I can put stuff in there. And if I, like when you're doing junk journals and you're doing, you know, 30 pages of all the same thing, it's just, it works great. So and it cuts you know thicker things pretty good I mean it's not super super heavy duty but it, it does it does stuff like chipboard pretty easily I say that and then look what just happened here that doesn't let me stand up that's probably what the issue is oh well I'm gonna just cut that because it's not cooperating I said that, I bragged on you, and look what you did, right? That's what happens. That's what happens, only on camera. All right. Okay, that's one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Here we go. I think I just wasn't. Yeah, I just wasn't angling it right okay so here's our two pieces and then what I'm gonna do is I want to put some of this burlap stuff that I have I don't know it's I bought this and it's another thing I bought that I thought I would never use use it all the time um, and I got it Tuesday morning but it's burlap but it's on paper and so it's great to use Okay, I, I don't know. How am I going to do this? Because I don't think this is 12 by 12. I think if I go this way, yeah, I think it has like a tail thing on it. Let me do this like this. Now this stuff is not easy to cut. Because it's burlap, okay? So let me do that. That way I know that it's right size there we go there's one and then I guess I'm cutting this this size yeah all right talking to myself people which you know I was telling my sister that just did her YouTube video she goes it's really weird because you're just sitting there talking to yourself so that's why I started doing the live ones because I just felt really weird and I go yeah it is weird really okay so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue that on and I'm gonna glue that on oh look at that it wasn't well, I'm gonna have to cut another piece I am going to have to cut another piece oh my goodness oh I hope I have some I'm getting low on this stuff. I, I really, honestly, I just did not um, think that I would ever use this stuff, and I do all the time. All right, let me do that again. Oh boy, I didn't measure. 
I should have done that. Okay, so let me do... I just should have measured what I was doing. Not assumed. Is that going to cut? There we go. Let's see if that one would work. Yeah, it's going to be short, of course, because it's not, it's over six. That's okay. Trust me, I'll use these pieces. I use them all the time. All right, there we go. Okay. What happened to my other piece that I just had? Okay, there we go. Covering it up. So I am going to use my precious 3-in-1 glue. I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and punch the holes first, though, because I know it's not going to go through. It may not even go through this. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to do it with my hand punch. I better do it with my crocodile first. And what I'm going to do is just take one of these off. And this is what you would do if you just have a single punch. Um, you don't want to... Uh, you know, not have them. So I'm going to do this on one and then I'm going to match it up to the next one. Okay, I'm not going to mark it, I'm just going to use this. Okay, and this will easily cut through it for sure. See? Oh, I hate when that hole gets clogged up because then you can't see. And of course it always does. Oh yeah, just just be like that. All my equipment. Okay, here we go. And I've kind of centered it to where it's not, you know, at the top or the bottom, but it's in the center because that's where I want my my cover to be. All right. So then I'm going to take this other cover and I'm going to match it up because I don't want to have those holes off. I guess I could mark these, but again, kind of lazy. All right, did it go out? Nope, it did not. Now these holes are a little bit smaller, but I'm going to put um, some eyelets on the cover. I'm not going to put it on the other pieces, but I am going to put it on the cover. So these will fit that. And you don't want them too big when you're doing the eyelets because they won't fit well. Okay, so now I'm going to do these. Is it in there? Of course it is. I should just expect that and quit thinking it's not going to be. So now all I'm doing is using those holes. Okay. Get it right. There we go. Get that out get stuck in there. You can't see your hole if you've got the pieces of material in there, so you got to get it out to kind of get that on there. I guess I could have glued it and done it. It would have gone through all of it. It definitely would have. I don't know why I did it this way. Okay, don't do it, don't do it this way. Next time, y'all just go ahead and um, go through both so you don't have to line it up later. Because it will go through both. I don't know why I did that. I guess in my mind I was thinking, oh, it might be too thick, but it, it, it'll go through that, definitely. Not not a big thing. So anyway, guys, this is all we're gonna do with this today. I'll ink this up and I'll go ahead and um, probably uh, you know glue this on. And then I'm going to sew around all my edges. Okay. Just because, like, my glue is squirting out. I can't waste this glue, people. Seriously, go out there and look. I mean, it is something going on with the glue. And I don't know. I don't know that my husband's theory might not be all that weird because why in the world would there be a shortage on this glue? You know, it's like everybody's just at home, so they've got a lot of time to craft, or, and why now, right? Okay, so, I don't know. It was just weird. I'm like, oh, wow. 
I mean, <laughs> like, there's a meat shortage. Ah, I don't really care. I need to, I need to kind of just maybe eat salad for a while. But there's a glue shortage. Okay, now that's a crisis. Okay, so there we go on that. And I'm going to put the rings on it. Make sure I get this all glued up. But anyway, that's thicker, so, and I'm going to put, you know, obviously I'm going to decorate it and stuff, and, but y'all been around me for any length of time, you know I can't do that in a video, it's just like impossible. I got to look around everything in my craft room, I got to make a huge mess, and then I'll decide what I'm going to put on it, because it takes me that long. So... Let us see here. That's going to go here. That's crooked. Okay, there we go. Is that still the hole open? Okay, there we go. All right. And then I'm just going to take ugh, a few of my eyelets. I haven't decided what color. Probably something darker. Like maybe that. Oop, not that one. You know... I should really have these divided by color because I do this every single time. Let me get this one and that one and I go, okay, that's another one. One more. All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I think that's it. Okay. So anyway, guys, I'm just going to do that and these should fit in there just fine. And I'm only doing it on the cover. I'm going to put the little um, um, page protector things. I'll show you that in a second. There we go. My brother, when he said, I tried to watch your video, but I fall asleep. It's like, okay. Well, first of all, I don't think he's into junk journaling, but, um, you know, I thought that was so funny. I said, don't, don't feel bad. I fall asleep too. I, I really don't watch very many of mine and I should because a couple of them were out there that I didn't know were as bad as they were. Okay. So these little page protector things, this is what I'm going to put on all the other ones. And I just get the ones from the dollar store and I just take my um, uh, vintage photo and go over them and color them and put them on there and I'll, you know, put them on both. But I'm, and I, oh, I put extra glue on when I do them. I, I mean, I just use my glue stick. So that's how it'll look. Um, I have no, like I said, I don't know what I'm, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to put on the cover. I don't know. I, I should probably do more decorate with me kind of things because I know I like to watch that, but I, I do have to plan those ahead a little bit because you don't even want to see how indecisive I am with all of that. I mean, it's, it's just not pretty. Oh, you know what? I screwed that up because, because remember the hole wasn't the same. So, is that going to work? I don't know if that, yeah, it's not going to work because, yeah, yep, yeah. Oh, shoot. I put, the, I put the burlap on the wrong side. I wonder if that will work that way. Is that the shorter one? Oh, gosh, it's too late at night for me to sit there. Okay, that worked. But one of these isn't going to work. Because remember I told you one hole was like... Yep. Yeah. I don't think this is going to work. Well. We shall see, won't we? That's okay. I have more of this stuff. I can fix it. See, that's what happens when you don't do your poles evenly. Oh, no, actually, it did work. Okay, I confused myself. 
Y'all probably were saying, it works. Just put it on there, Dana. Anyway, that's what it's going to be like. Okay? That's going to be it. So, anyway, this is a great way to utilize your, um, your papers. I mean, I, to me, I just, it just bugs me that I can't use more of the paper I love and then even the paper I hate. Okay, that's not going through there. Okay, I'll have to, oh, it doesn't like the eyelet. I have to move that back. Okay, but anyway, guys, oh, shoot. Yeah, you have to get it on the other side of the eyelet for it to work. Okay, so that's it. And I guess we'll see you next time. Don't forget about Giveaway Friday. If you don't know about that, um, you do need to be a subscriber. Make a comment um, during the current week, Friday through Friday. It can be on an old video. It doesn't matter. And that enters you to win the Giveaway Friday. Um, one comment per video. And um, I pay up to $10 shipping. And after that, you can look at the old Giveaway Fridays and get an idea of what I give. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time.